perfect. Thank you, Alberto. Yay! Yay, yay! And I really didn't advertise this that much, but we are reopening. This is our reopening. It's not a grand reopening, but it's a reopening after the last COVID wave. And it's so good to have people here, uh, even though I'm, I'm not there, none of us were before, but <laughs> the crew and stuff. But I am so happy to be in your presence. It makes all the difference. So I am Reverend Pam Gagan. Welcome to the Center for Spiritual Living, Pleasant Valley. Not only those here, but those who are watching us live on Facebook. And it is my honor today to tell you who's going to be with us. It's our Alberto Del Pina. <laughs> Yay! I love the... I love the the Mexican, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, the yip, y yay, yay, yays, whatever it is. <laughs> For African, whatever it was. <laughs> Thank you. And our lovely Rev Lynn, Buzz Noe, and wonderful Marcia behind the scenes. And she'll be in front of the scenes too today for something which is great, which is absolutely great. So now, this is who we are. Welcome. <laughs> running up here. It's so much fun. In the last few weeks, just the three of us sitting here in the sanctuary have been making as much noise as we possibly <laughs> could. <laughs> it's so much fun to have all that wonderful energy coming at us. This is great. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Center for Spiritual Living, Pleasant Valley. And I'm so glad that you are all here. I'm glad that you are all here as well. Um, our vision is awakening humanity to its spiritual magnificence, and the way we do that is teaching and demonstrating spiritual principles for living an abundant and fulfilling life in a welcoming, compassionate community. And we have the flames of faith. The flames of faith indicate how unified we are with other religions that step forward in love. There are many, many religions in the world, uh, Sufism, Buddhism, uh, Judaism, Christianity, all the isms, all the anities, they're all wonderful. <laughs> and there's, there's this one fine thread that runs through all religions, and that fine thread is love. We are love. We come from love, and we honor our oneness within us all. And now it's my pleasure to introduce someone who's very new to all of you, Reverend Pam Gagan. <laughs> the old shoe is back. <laughs> Me, not you. <laughs> Me, the old. I've been here forever. <laughs> oh, and now I am so excited for the first time on stage since she took Sound Booth over. It is my honor to introduce Marcia Beebe, who's reading Reverend Betty Ann's quote. Yay! Here is the face behind the sound booth. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm so happy to see everybody and to be here with you. My name is Marcia. I am a practitioner here at the center. And together, let's read Reverend Betty Ann's quote. I look forward to what each new hour brings. My thinking is peaceful, calm, and centered. Freedom and change are in the air. This is the moment I take back my power. 
I choose thoughts that lift my energy. I am so pleased to be a part of life. I know that this is a glorious time to experience, and it begins here and now with positive and productive change. And together we say, and so it is. And we thank Reverend Betty Ann. And now it's my pleasure and joy to ask Reverend Pam to come back up. And <laughs> this is where I get my exercise. So, <laughs> so coming up and down the stage, up and down the stage. Anyway, now it is my honor to introduce uh, in these times and in these unifying times, despite what it looks like, a song that says it all, the one power. Please uh, enjoy Daniel Neymar, One Power. One power, one power, one power, one power, one power, one power, one power. One power invisible, and you see it everywhere and every day. One power indescribable, and you speak of it with every word you say. Mysterious until you know. As simple as the love inside of you. Call it God, call it Spirit, call it Jesus, call it Lord, call it Buddha, Bamla, angels' wings, or oh, heaven's door. But whatever name you give it, it's all one power, can't you see? It's the power of. Different is only dangerous when we forget that in the heart we're all the same. And we'll remember once we close our eyes to see that such distant sense we're never meant to be. Call it God, call it Spirit. Spirit. Hashem or heaven's door It's Mahalan It's your mind It's your soul Or it's your sign It's the universe It's music Mother Earth or Father Time But whatever name you give it It's all one power Can't you see? Whatever name you give it It's the very air we breathe the freedom of the giver, it's the sweetness of the leaves, it's the joy of inspiration, it's the sunshine on your face, it's the birthright of all nations, it's the boundlessness of space, it's the beauty of a baby, the serenity of sleep, it's the anger we abandon, for it's love that's most
really wanted to introduce our, our uh, opening prayer treatment practitioner, Buzz Noe, because he is the recent Ventura County Toastmaster winner of Tall Tales. Yay! That is, that is major for those who know anything about Toastmaster. So now, Buzz Noe, please come up and open us up with prayer. Oh, yes, that uh, contest was yesterday, and I won, and I won't go through my whole talk, but I think the part that got me the thing was I talked about how I was a detective for many years. I was a dick. And so I, I, I started off as a security officer at a bank. I was a bank dick. And I got in trouble when a woman walked in one day, looked through the whole bank, and then went over to the door where the vault was kept, the locked door, and tried to open it. I figured she was trying to rob the bank. So I went over and I said, hey, can I ask what you're doing here? And she said, I don't have to tell you what I'm doing here. I'm here to get money. I'm robbing. Oh, wow, I figured she was robbing the bank, so I started to put her under arrest, but the bank manager came up and says, what are you doing? My sister's here to make a deposit and get some cash back. She's my sister. Her name is Robin. And I got fired. So that was part of my, that was part of my talk. But anyway, I'm here to start us off with the opening affirmation. So thank you all for being here. It's wonderful to have humans meet together. And we enjoyed, of course, doing the lesson online and having it. And spiritually, we can still connect. But it's that, that human situation, we feel more connected and more alive when we're gathered together. So it's great to be here. And with that in mind, I'd like to start us off with an opening affirmation. So please close your eyes. Go within. Connect with your spiritual self at this time. Tell along with me these words as I say them in your words. And I know that right here and right now, in this singular moment, in the continuing of the time and space continuum. There is one source through all that is. That source, that infinite source, we refer to as God. There is one God. There is the source of all that is life. I am here, part of life, from that source. And since I'm from the source that is God, I am connected to everything else from the source. Everything that exists, everything that lives, everything on the earth, everything in the universe, we are all connected. And I know that as I I am one with all that is. And knowing I am one with all that is, I continue to move forth with my main focus, my primary motivation to be love. Love for life, love for God, love for all. And I add to love, kindness, compassion, sharing, caring, and when I can, as I can, giving of myself and all that I have to everyone else. And I know that as I continue to move forth through life, this focus and this motivation, these same qualities of life will be coming back to me tenfold. They are coming from the infinite source. With infinite power, easy to manifest everything that I would desire to have in my life, everything that I would know and affirm to be there for me as now and here and now. And knowing that this is the case in the situation of my life, I release the words, the one happening but I think something joined on the back the microphone oh because I'm online at the same time well I guess I forgot about that now I'm online and I'm on the microphone so are we coming up with the announcements here they go so here's the buzz here's what's happening on Sunday March uh, 6th 2022 and since I don't remember everything these days being an old man I've got to read some of this <coughs> So here we are on the first Sunday of March in 2022. It's great to have you here at a center, which is always here for you. How wonderful it is for us to once again meet here live. We will soon have a lesson from Reverend Pam that will help us all to thrive. I'm very excited to soon see and hear what Rev. Pam has to say, but for now, here I am to give you the announcements for today. 
morning mindfulness now takes place on Wednesday mornings at 9. These meditations with Reverend Pam will connect you with the divine. They are once a week sessions that help you to thrive and they take place at 9 a.m. on Facebook Live. Filling your life with delight is this week's new title because finding delight in your life is something that is vital. At 7 p.m. Thursdays on Facebook Live, our midweek spiritual uplift will boost your divine drive. Lynn Chaplin Noe will be the host for this week's uplifting session. The Superpowers of the Agents of Change is the title of her lesson. Continuing Saturday mornings from 12 a.m., I'm sorry, 10 a.m. to 12 noon, a great class for $20 per session is on Zoom. The class is based on Janet Connor's book, The Lotus and the Lily, so come take a look. The wisdom of Buddha and Jesus, which inspires, will allow you to manifest all your deepest desires. Four sessions have taken place since the class did begin, but two sessions remain and you can still join in. It is hosted by our Reverend Pam and also Reverend Lynn, and any of these sessions will give your spiritual self a win. At 4.30 on the fourth Sunday of this month, Lisa Coffey will be hosting a class you will want. The wisdom of Vedanta enlightens our lives, thereby ensuring our divine purpose thrives. It will happen on March 27th, live on Zoom. Her guest and the theme will be announced this soon. You can tune in to Lisa after our Sunday lesson. Constant Contact has the Zoom link for this enlightening session. We are continuing with the two-for-one sale going on in our bookstore. It remains incredibly well stoked with books and fantastic things galore. There are lots of books and jewelry in stock <clears throat> that will give your life much glee. And today, when you buy something there, you can get something else for free. Please keep in mind our center is here for you. Please let us know what we can do. The spiritual treatment that we provide will reveal your perfection and allow you to thrive. You can always leave a request by phone or send us an email from wherever you roam. And we are excited to once again be able to gather here live in our center that is still dedicated to help us all thrive. Your loving donations will keep our center going so we can be here to keep your wellness flowing. Later, we will list the online ways to give, so please do donate from wherever you live. Two other places where you can lend a hand, please do give them whatever you can. Ventura County Rescue Mission pro provides the homeless with much good, and Ventura County Food Share feeds the needy in our hood. I notice that our center is part of Ralph's Community Contribution Program, a portion of whatever you spend at the store gives our center a small donation or more. So please do sign up or simply renew, and Ralph's will contribute at no cost to you. Our center's code number is JE859. You can sign up at the store, or you can do it online. And another way to help our center for a while is to shop online using Amazon Smile. When you complete your purchase for the items you got, it donates to our center right on the spot. And finally, Today is the first Sunday, Sunday of month number three. Go and find some ways to fill your life with glee. And that's it for the announcements and all I have to say. Next up will be our wonderful practitioner of the day. I'm happy to say it's going to be my lovely wife, Lynn. And trust me when I tell you that her message will give you a win. Here she is. Darn, he's cute. <laughs> okay, good morning, everybody. I'm Reverend Lynn Chaplin Noe, and first and foremost, I'm a practitioner, and I'm your practitioner for the day. And we have wonderful practitioners at our church. We have an incredible family. The reverends, of course, Reverend Pam Gagan, Pamela Gagan, and Kelly Brzezinski, and I um, are first and foremost practitioners. And of course, we have our lead practitioner, Pamela Bailey, who's phenomenal and such a contribution to our center. We have Marcia Beebe, Buzz Noe, the token testosterone in the center, Pauline Pancake, Shirley Berman, and Donna Butler. So let's do, let's have some applause for our <laughs> practitioners today. <laughs> As we do on our class, our Zoom class on Saturdays, we do jazz hands. That's how we applaud. Uh, you know what, and I always uh, re remind you, you can, there are practitioners in the house today. Buzz is here, Marcia is here, Reverend Pam is here, but uh, I'm here, 
Who else is here? Oh, 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 wonderful Maureen Hoyt. Reverend, Mo Dr. Reverend Maureen Hoyt is here. Whoa! And Shirley is back there looking gorgeous. So I just recommend that you get to know your practitioners after service today. You, I want you to go grab a practitioner, and how do I always say it? Appropriately. <laughs> grab a practitioner and get to know them. Please get to know them and have spiritual mind treatment and just, just share all of your good news as well. Okay, so this is the time that we have chosen to be in, and it's the greatest time of change on our planet. Would you agree? I think so. This is a time when the way to peace is an option, and it is, and good change, good change is inevitable. So I want to talk about agents of change. It's kind of a phrase that we've heard, but all of our lives we have heard about agents of change. And you know who they are. You can identify them uh, through our lifetime. Some of us have lived through seven or eight decades of great leaders who have caused change on the planet. And these are people with enormous courage and intelligence and imagination and compassion. And they all had a vision, these agents of change. Guess what? Everyone in this room is an agent of change. And I just got God bumps when I said that. That's for sure. Everyone in this room, we share a philosophy, the philosophy of science of mind, which espouses oneness, causal responsibility, and the fact that there is a spiritual solution for every problem. We have a vision of this world. That's why we've chosen to be here at this time. So I have only, let's hear from you if you have agents of change in your life. Who's an agent of change in your life? Mine is Buzz Noe, and mine is Reverend Pam Gagan. Mine is the maestro, an agent of change. Really loud, yell out, just I want to hear your voices. Who's an agent of change in your life right now? <laughs> Great. <laughs> a lot of Pam Gagans, a lot of Pam Gagans. Uh, okay, there. besides Gandhi, there's you. There's you. I just have one quote today, and the quote is from one of the many uh, websites and links that there are for the subject of cha uh, agents of change. Find your passion and act on it. An agent of change is someone who sees a problem in their community, large or small, and does something to take action for substantial change. This person is someone who lis listens to the people in the community where the is issue exists and makes sure that they truly understand the root of the problem before implementing a new idea. This person is someone who is willing to take risks and doesn't always claim to know the answer. They are willing to ask hard questions and help find creative solutions. An agent of change has the courage to think outside the box and makes an impact that is greater than themselves. Does that sound familiar? That's you. So welcome. You are all agents of change. Let's have uh, a little treatment. And I'm going to do a five-step treatment so you all recognize the steps. Let's close our eyes, please. And we'll do this in first person. I'll be making I am statements. And I am aware instantly in this peaceful moment of a presence, one presence, love, life, infinite intelligence. And I unify with this wonderful source. I am the divine, individualized expression of all that God is. And therefore, I realize in my life wonderful, ordinary days of miracles. Life itself is a miracle. I am a miracle. 
So I anticipate in my life and have full expectation of wonderful things being revealed in my life. I step forward boldly, courageously, seeing that I am a change agent in this world, on this planet. I am here to see that peace is not only an option, but peace is an inevitability. This I know for certain. So I am grateful for these loving truths of oneness with source and the fact that there is one divine, divine, wonderful entity that we call God. And I release these loving truths into the law of mind. I allow divine mind to take care of how all of this unfolds perfectly while I enjoy my beautiful, expressive, miraculous life. And together we say, and so it is. And so it is time for me to introduce at last the maestro. Well, no? <laughs> no? It's a YouTube? Not a YouTube, but a YouTube. Oh, Bummer, dude. Okay, it's a wonderful YouTube. And here's a wonderful YouTube for us to enjoy. <laughs> you guys out there. Inside the hurting and the suffering minds Creating anger, fear and pain Suffocating our times The tougher it gets, the rougher social media cries But we see to it that we tweeting only negative lines We're sick and tired of history But repeating it twice Free anger and violence Clearly stealing our nights Feeling it tight between the shoulders With a chill in the spine Pinching myself, waking up Trying to stop the rewind And move forward towards stories Overcoming our fears Choosing love over hate Praying, trading hugs over tears There's only one choice Breaking down the walls and repair Every broken heart on this planet till there's no longer fear walls can't hold us in fear can't keep us down love will rise again yet yeah, it's rising right now we shall overcome every time i think it's gonna take much longer we shall Getting stronger. We have just begun. Gonna make a change, we gotta push much farther. We shall overcome. 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 Young Gandhi couldn't fathom how to deal with himself when he was thrown off the train and the pain that he felt. Mrs. Parks disrespected, dragged into jail because of the color of his skin, organs, tissues, and cells. One day, a young girl was shot on a bus by a man, a terrorist, part of the Taliban. He said, on this land, you have no right to stand for what you believe in. Girls have no chance here. Well, now. That's just the story of three souls who shook our planet after being down on their knees. And it's not gonna stop. Those seeds have now become trees. And as human beings, we'll keep on digging till we find peace. Yeah, the cynics always say that nothing ever changes. The human nature's bound to stay the same. But it couldn't be more plain. The violence never pays. Injustice never stays, it's bound to fade away. What if history awaits? What if today's the day? We already know the way, so let's all lead the way. We shall overcome. Every time I think it's gonna take much longer. We shall overcome. Every time I question them, I get stronger. We
shall overcome. Stronger. We shall overcome someday. I'm feeling it deep in my heart. Deep in my heart. I do believe. I do believe. We shall. Here we go. Woo. I knew it. God had a plan for us to do it. To help rock bottom before we rise and continue. To first learn greed before we learn to be human. To do wrong deeds before we learn to spread beauty. There's always a plan and now it's time to take a stand for the right of the planet. Every woman and man, we ain't gonna stop. Only growing our demands for all beings to feel peace in every heart and land. Thank you, Lord, for the strength and the courage to bring us together and keep our souls nourished. These tough times will only drown in our chorus, because we all believe that the truth is before us. We shall overcome this pain. We shall overcome this day. We pray for love to lead the way. The truth is, I just didn't want Lynn to steal the thunder for me introducing <laughs> Alberto. Alberto, thank you. And now, Maestro. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>
What was that from? Uh, that's, that was from Ireland, and it's called uh, South Wind. Oh, just thank you. Thank you so much. And speaking of passion and playing, <laughs> today uh, my talk is about the passion of the Ukrainian people, and the talk is ablaze and unafraid. And I think there is not one of us in this room or in America or even around the world who is not compassionately moved by what is happening in real time on television right now. Anyone with a heart holds that country in consciousness and holds the high watch for it because the suffering that the Ukrainians are going through right now is a choice. They choose to be free right now. They're choosing to be free and fight for their freedom from an oligarchy right now that's trying to crush them. And so when you see that, you recognize that any time in history we rise up from whatever reasons we rise up because we're being squeezed so tightly we can no longer stand it. And what we want most as a people, of course, is love, but mainly we want freedom. We want freedom to shine our light onto the world and without any restrictions. So one of the things that moved me most this morning is I heard uh, that not only are we united, all NATO is united. NATO, who was kind of almost gone for a while, has been united over this. And then one of the largest radio news stations, the last words that were spoken before Putin took them off the air, I think it was yesterday or today, said no to war. And not only did that radio station reach like 26 million people, but there are 50 million people now, they estimated, protesting in Russia to change this, to get out of Ukraine, to give the people their freedom. And it's not like they're just protesting like we do in America. They are all being threatened with 15-year prison terms. And nothing is stopping them because of the passion that lies within the soul that is connected to what I say is the rock that moves everything and this planet and is certainly outpicturing in the Ukraine. We look at a Vladimir Zelensky and this man who I didn't even know that much about him. I thought he was kind of milk toast during Trump's, uh, Trump's era. Uh, he just wouldn't commit. He was kind of wishy-washy in, in my mind. But he was, uh, probably all of you know this now, he was a stand-up comedian on TV, and now he's president. And, but it's more than that. He has risen above. And again, what does he drawing upon? He is drawing upon what the people want. He has risen to be one of the most heroic leaders in Europe that I have ever seen. And he has not let them down. He has always tried to be on air as much as he can. He is totally right there in the fight for democracy and the fight for his people. And when the question comes up from that place of compassion, how can the Ukrainians possibly stand strong under all of this incredible assaults that are, that are taking place? We can now assert and declare, how can an assault on our freedom, our spiritual, physical being, possibly prevail over any loss of our right to shine our light? That's what we've always fought for here in America. That's what people fight worldwide for. And so the passion within. Ernest Holmes wrote, for those with the seeing impaired, <laughs> no, true freedom, true liberty has something cosmic behind it. If the time has come that modern science has proved that we cannot have move a piece of paper without changing the balance of the entire physical universe, if we have come to the place where we know that the stuff of which our physical bodies are made is the same stuff that the planets are made, if we have come to the place where such profound unity is maintained that physicists believe there is no such thing as disunity in the physical world, then we can easily see what the great spiritual leaders of the ages meant when they told us of that greater unity which we all live, move, and have our being in. And that idea of freedom itself is tied up with the true concept of unity of good. 
If our nature is one with God, and he says, of course it is, and we know that God, it must be here, and we must be at one man, for the universe cannot be divided against itself, then we are all tied inextricably throughout the ages. <laughs> Any day now, <laughs> as I rifle through my clothes, <laughs> uh, into an indivisible unity. We shall have to get back to this unity to find the meaning of freedom. Nothing in any part of this cosmic whole could be considered freedom that would destroy the liberty of some other part of it. That would be self-destruction. Would it not? As Jesus pointed out over 2,000 years ago, that would be a kingdom divided against itself. The kingdom of God is one kingdom, so we know that true liberty must spring from true unity. And that was written in the 1930s. And have we changed any? No. That one thing that we still fight for is lies deep within us. It is the rock we draw upon, and it is our desire for freedom. Victor Frankl, I, always, I quote him every time when it comes to freedom, it seems like. Psychiatrist, Nazi German, World War II concentration camp survivor said, it is this spiritual freedom which cannot be taken away that makes life meaningful and purposeful. So what I know for sure, as Lynn even said, is spiritual freedom and oneness is the spirit not randomly, it's not a randomly uh, bestowed gift. It's in each and every one of it, us. And it is the reward of conscious self-transformation and self-evolution. That is what we're on. We're constantly transforming ourselves. We are constantly going from where we are. I always see as the spiral of life ever going wider and wider and upward and upward, calling us, calling us to rise up within us. And throughout history, the eyes and hearts of those who have drawn upon that spiritual rock, we stand, we stand strong like the Gandhis and the Martin Luther Kings and, and the Jesuses and the Nelson Mandels and the poets and the saints. And you can call whatever it is that, that you want to. I say it is the passion of the soul that calls us to continue to rise up ever, ever wider, more compassionate, more aware, more awakened to how important each moment on this planet is and what we leave behind. It's not just that we're here to exist. We are here to be that evolutionary change, that change that moves everything. So when your compassionate, united vision of creation and good, that passion for freedom of who you are always wins. It always has. It always will. Is there pain and suffering? Unfortunately, we're witnessing right now. But I can guarantee you what Putin wanted was to uh, to have the Ukraine crumble and create a larger uh, Russian empire, and instead the world is uniting against him and making him smaller. So we're, that's playing out in real time as well, which is one of those uh, things that has always happened since I've been on the planet anyway. Re freedom resonates with us in all forms throughout all life. I see it in our spiritual community. I see it in the people that come and speak. I see it when they just speak from their hearts up here, from that oneness, from that unity, without even looking at notes what, like I am right now. So <laughs> anyway, but it is the authentic. I see it in Alberto when he plays the guitar because the music, his passion, sets him free. He begins the divine. He puts who he is, that passion, that divinity, into each musical note. He's not just playing the guitar. He is the music. And so when we talk about oneness and freedom, it is not just how what we are doing day by day by rote. It is who we are because our connection to spirit respects free agency. You cannot force anybody to believe that they have what they don't want to believe or what they, they want is something they, they don't want. What does that mean in a free land? Well, in a free land, it is our... It is our responsibility and supreme duty to continually advance forward the freedom, the physical, the freedom, the physical freedoms, mental and spiritual, and help others on our way. 
not in government or force, not in slavery or war, but in the creative and thereby spiritual power of freedom shall we overcome, shall we, our inspiration be found. Whenever an oligarchy or a religion, as I said earlier, tightens the rules, we break forth. We rise higher. We search for more freedom. That is why I am a religious scientist today, because it honors all faiths. It brings in all the good and allows me to explore anything and everything I want in that spiritual universe without any condemnation, whether it's sex or or, um, or um, how I pray or anything else. It gives me that freedom to explore what resonates with me, like the music resonates with you, like the words resonate that flow through our practitioners and our ministers and our people here in this room. President Dwight D. Eisenhower said, if you want total security, go to prison. There you're fed, clothed, given mental, medical help, and all your basic needs are taken care of. The only thing lacking is freedom. So you have a choice at all times. Our true, authentic self is free. It can't be contained. And yet the authentic, free soul is rare, but you know it when you recognize it because you feel it with the people around you. When someone is authentically in their authentic beingness, the freedom that oozes from them is so comfortable that you just want to shine in their light also. You want to you wanna sit, sit at their feet, as we say sometimes. And yet the authentic soul comes at a price sometimes. Today I pray for a heart that's brave, a mind ablaze and with desire for living in freedom, who recognizes we'll never be truly free until those in bondage have the same rights as you and me. I end the words from this uh, talk from uh, Juan Manuel uh, Miranda, his, from his rock uh, opera Hamilton. Did anybody see? I saw Hamilton on air. Or I saw it in person. Yeah, it was, it was magnificent. Uh, uh, I may not live to see our glory, but I will gladly know that greatness lies in you. But remember, the nation learns to move on it outlives me when I'm gone. Like the scripture says, everyone shall sit under their own vine and fig tree, and no one shall make them afraid. They'll be safe in the nation we've made. I want to sit under my own fig fruit tree and vine, a moment alone in the shade, at home in the nation we've made. Raise your hands and your glass, your spirits to freedom something they can never take away, no matter what they tell you. This is not a moment, this is a mov movement, and history has its eyes on you. And so it is. <laughs> Thank you. And now, the man with the passion and who is the music. <laughs> Alberto.
We're so happy you watch us online that Alberto is even more magnificent in person. Thank you. What was that from? Ireland. Ireland. I, oh, no. I, anyway, now it is my honor to read our offertory together while we're here in the room. Thank you for being with us today, not only online, but also in person. This was great. It was just great. Together. Divine love blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. And so it is, and that's the way it is. <laughs> so what you all been doing out there? in consciousness today uh, anyone who needs a prayer here worldwide and in this room and so it is as I introduce our wonderful Reverend Lynn Chaplain Noe back up <laughs> Yay. let's have another wonderful prayer for prosperity but before we do that I want to remind our wonderful friends out there who are, are watching us, and we're so grateful that you are watching us. We know you're there. <laughs> and there are other ways to contribute to our center as well. If you go to the website, www.csl-pleasantvalley.org, and you can contribute through PayPal and Zelle. And of course, we're very appreciative. You notice that we're still here we're still here in this beautiful sanctuary, and that's because of you and your contributions, and we're so, so very grateful. And so in that consciousness of gratitude and abundance, let's close our eyes, please. I affirm now and always that there is one power, one 
divine presence, one way of life. This is all God, which is forever full and complete. And since I am God's limitless means to reveal itself, then I reveal the richness, the fullness, and absolute abundance that I already am. Prosperity, generosity, creativity, and goodness are what I am. And it's what I eternally reveal. And I give abundantly to this center and to all that I do. And for this, I know that I am doubly blessed. I prosper. This center prospers. And the world, as it is in its perfection, in this sacred moment, is blessed. And together we say, and so it is. And so it is. Time to sing. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> hey there. Oh, that's where that is. That little chord is short. Buzz, come up here and sing. <laughs> Absolutely. Here he comes. There's, okay, squeeze, squeeze us. And Marcia. Stand if you would like. It would be wonderful if you wanted to stand. If we move the microphone to this side. Look at this crap. This is wonderful. Right now, I know it in my mind, I feel it in my body, 